Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into tonight. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button, hit that notification button, and bell so that way you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to tonight's video. So like I said in tonight's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I definitely want to get into. First of all, when we're talking about Kashan Rock, Kashan, Kashan Rock, and K-Swab. Now, recently they were in a video together, and it was one of K-Swab's songs, and he had her in there as his leading lady. And I guess that's because they're out here dating now, and they're putting themselves out there for the world to see. The other night they had a little movie date night. How you doing a cha-cha around this bitch? Salsa dancing in this bitch. You gotta move your feet, bro. You gotta catch your air. Um, you know that they don't want to see Blueface's face on her. Like, if they're dating her and they're spending time with her, it, you know, it's one thing that she has a child, you know, with a man. Um, also, allegedly, we pretty sure that this is kid, but allegedly. Um, but it's another thing to have to deal with seeing his face tattooed and his name tattooed all over her body, especially the neck and stuff. There's certain moves that you probably would have to do so that way you wouldn't have to see that man's face. Um, and I'm pretty sure that she's now doing this. I'm hoping that she's not really doing well. Actually, never mind. I take that back. She is doing this for a guy because at first, because I was going to say, I hope that she's not doing this for a guy. But if you come on and you tell us that now you have a reason to get rid of these, you know, tattoos when, you know, the disgust and the way that Blueface has been treating you and how he barely visited his, you know, visits his son, that should be enough of a reason for you to have been got them tattoos removed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's even more stuff, but I'm just going to leave it with that just simple things right there. But now she's using, you know, K-Swab as an excuse to now finally get these tattoos removed. And I think that she should have, it should have been done with her accordance. It should have been done before her and it shouldn't have taken a guy. Now, I understand, you know, a lot of people are, oh, well, you know, well, you know, maybe she really just, no, if you're going to go get them really removed and get them finally taken off, then you didn't need to do. She could have been got these tattoos removed. So I'm glad that she finally is or seems like she's going to get the tattoos removed. And I hope this. I hope that she don't get these tattoos removed just to go get him tattooed on her and then something goes down and then she's regretting it and all this other kind of crap and whatnot and third. So let's hope that she does get these tattoos removed and let's just hope that she continues to have a good time because right now they're in the honeymoon phase of this, you know, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure if they're in a relationship or they're just dating and just, you know, seeing how things go. But right now they're in the honeymoon phase, which means it's all ups, it's all giggles, it's all love, it's all ha ha he he's. And who knows? Maybe I think that her posting him and stuff like that is definitely helping him. Now, no disrespect to Mr. K Suave, but I'm pretty sure that her posting him and this new fling or whatever is also going to benefit him in the end as well. So I'm pretty sure that, hey, it's going to be beneficial for him and hopefully that she gets whatever she wants to get out of this now the second thing i want to talk about is her sister and i told you guys i don't know i say her name but to see you or whatever the heck her name is i'm going to post her up so that way you guys know exactly what i'm talking about but she recently did an interview and she was talking in this interview about how she will never forgive Krishan rock for what she did and like if she was to forgive her like she just knew that, you know, after that, she would always have to watch her back because, you know, she can get snaked. This is a girl who tried to jump her. And a whole bunch of people in the comment section making a whole bunch of sense to saying, how many times have you jumped a couple of your sisters and you tried to fight Krishan when she was pregnant? Like, it's a couple of things that you've done, too. And they've also bought up, you know, those allegations that Krishan rock and that the nephew had bought up of, you know, being, you know, um, we'll say S.A., you know what I'm saying, when they were minors and stuff like that. They bought those, you know, people have been bringing that up too towards her. And I'm really, I get what she's saying, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you chased after 
your sister, I feel like, you was doing your own thing, granted, with the music and stuff like that, but I feel like at the same time, you still was chasing after your sister and trying to be so hard on her coattail because you saw that she was really moving and she was really moving and people was really taking, you know, liking to her and you wanted to be a part of that because if that was the case, then you should have never came up on baddies and was trying to audition and stuff like that. Like, whatever was for your sister, let that be for her. You have enough talent in the music to go on ahead and pursue music, so I don't understand why you would want to go on the baddies, why you would want to do all that now. Granted, you may be a baddie and you may actually be what the show needs and, you know, can take it to a whole nother whatever. But your sister already did that. And honestly, when you think about baddies and stuff like that, and even hell, the blue face girls, when they first started, you think about Rashawn Rock. She has definitely made a name for herself and she has definitely became one of the idols of that particular show. And she has a whole bunch of families and people watch so that way they can see her. That's why the show allowed her to be pregnant. And to have certain things set in place so that way she could still be on the show. They knew what they were doing. Regardless if Rashawn Rock was just like, yeah, I want to be on the show or whatever. But they knew what they were doing and having her on that show because they knew that she was going to bring the views, the money, everything. She was, she's, she's, she is damn near a part of the show. You know what I'm saying? So they knew what they were doing. I just want to say that the sister, she has done some bad things. And maybe one day down the line, they'll be able to come to some type of agreements where they can apologize to each other. They can try to start with a clean slate or at least just move forward and know where each other stands with each other. But I think for right now, she should not be going on doing interviews. This incident been happened. Like, she could have been spoke about this. And she did. She talked about this for weeks after this incident happened so i think to be talking about it right now just kind of drawn out and doesn't need to she should be talking about some new music and stuff like that anyways y'all let me know what y'all think about all this and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video respectfully